Stoneware has become a major sector in Greengate's collection of products. All Stoneware products are designed to complement Greengate fabrics and colorways. But when the Greengate design team have finished with their new Stoneware collection designs and colorways, what happens next might still be a bit of a mystery to some. It's as if the files are sent online, and somehow, somewhere, someone presses the button on the magic stoneware machine, and out comes a beautiful Greengate cup or plate. But what really happens? A Greengate team recently flew to Shantou, China, to see in detail how Greengate stoneware items come into existence. Located in the Guangdong district, Greengate's pottery manufacturers have a long heritage in stoneware and porcelain production. With a reputation for the producing of high-quality, craft-based products, they use brush and moulding techniques which have been perfected over the centuries. Stoneware has its origins in the Shang Dynasty in China, from circa 1400 BC. Their breakthrough was to be able to create kilns hot enough to complete the process. The craft still has its roots firmly placed here ever since. Filling the mould is the first step in the process. Plaster of Paris moulds provide the master outer shape for products such as cups and mugs. This method was first used in stoneware making in Staffordshire, England in 1745, and the methods used are almost identical to this day. Note that the unfired items, called greenware, are rather larger than the final product. In fact, all items must be made up to 20% larger at this stage, to allow for the shrinkage inherent in the process. Modern techniques mean that the finished items will be more or less identical in shape, but there will be a very slight difference between each item. About 10% of items which are at an unacceptable difference in shape will not make it to the second stage and are destroyed for recycling. To create the internal shape of a vessel, such as a cup, the craftsmen employ a device known as a jigger or a jolly. First introduced in the 18th century, the jigger carves out a perfect negative shape of the inside of the cup. The pieces are then subjected to a process known as turning. The greenware items are dried until they reach a leather-like hardness, so they can be handled and checked more thoroughly. The turning process is used to smooth and finish the foot rings or undercut places on moulded and jiggered pieces. The oversized turned pieces are then washed and inspected again. Once dried further, the pieces are ready for stage one of the glazing process. Once glazed, they are burned in the kilns at a temperature of over 1400 degrees Celsius. When burning is complete, they are again inspected before being submitted to a second glazing. After the second glazing inspection, they are passed to the department responsible for white work. Only 70% of the products undergoing glazing will be passed. While the craft of stoneware has been relatively unchanged for centuries in the processes seen up until now, decorating the items has seen newer techniques which allow for more accuracy in mass production. That said, the process is still one which demands enormous skill and dexterity by hand. Greengate stoneware manufacturers have a long tradition of fine brush skills. It is in this art that they made the reputation. More recently though, with larger demand for high quantities and a western taste for identical products, their team of decal applicators are expanding the reputation in new fields. Adhering to a traditional craft-based approach, each craftsperson is solely responsible for their own items, which leads to a greater sense of ownership and a higher, more perfect piece rate. First, the decals are printed from computer files supplied by the Greengate design team onto a special substrate. These are submerged in water and carefully moved onto the products. Using hard brushes, applying the decals is one of the most painstaking parts of the process, requiring enormous skill and dexterity of the craftspeople. Each item can take up to 12 minutes, depending on the shape of the product. Note that the colours at this stage are very different from the final result. As the burning process will alter the colour dramatically, only years of experience and testing can tell the craftsman what colour to begin with to achieve the correct final colours. Once the pieces have been fired again, they are ready for final inspection. 
Only items with a maximum of one very minor imperfection will make it successfully for cleaning and packing. The overall atmosphere in the factory is more of a fine craft workshop than that of a mass production factory. Combining the extraordinary skills of the craftspeople with the painstaking series of inspection processes means that Greengate products have the quality of high craft and the perfection levels demanded by the mass market. It was visibly obvious that the people working on the products took great pride in what they were doing and the working environment and atmosphere was a testament to that.